Hey guys, Swifty here. In today's video, we're going over the Chicago Bears depth chart and identifying the team's biggest needs heading into the NFL draft that is just a week away. This week, I will be focusing mostly on NFL draft coverage, but I have quite a few projects in the works behind the scenes as well. I have already mentioned my Justin Fields breakdown that's coming and my Cole Komet breakdown. And I'm almost finished with my Dakota Dozier All-22 breakdown as well. And I will be joining Coach T for some special draft coverage this weekend. But let's get into this roster outlook. The first thing I see when looking at the offensive depth chart is the amount of young talent we have under the age of 25. Justin Fields, David Montgomery, Darnell Mooney, Cole Komet, Tevin Jenkins, Larry Borum, Khalil Herbert, and even Daz Newsom. Top that with the potential that we add some more talent to this offense in the draft. That is exciting without even getting into the new Shanahan style scheme. So what are the weaknesses? To most people, it's easy to see that right guard and wide receiver stand out the most. These are the two most obvious holes on the offense. Dakota Dozier is capable of playing right guard, and Equinemius St. Brown would also be a very unpopular, but possible capable starter at wide receiver. I think we will address both of these positions during the draft. To me, guard and wide receiver are both spots on this depth chart that could really use an infusion of young talent. The wild card on this offense is the tackle spot. On one hand, we have two young tackles, with a ton of potential that we drafted just last year. On the other hand, tackle is a premium position, and we aren't sure if polls trust Jenkins and Borum to both be starters starting tackles. I think there's a good chance we draft a tackle, but it's not a sure thing for me for two reasons. One is that we already have the two young tackles, and it might be a better plan to bring in a veteran like Riley Reef or Eric Fisher, and they can compete with Borum and provide insurance for this year. The other reason is there aren't that many elite tackles in this draft class, and the ones ready to play may most likely be gone by the time we pick. We should still have a chance to take a guy like Abraham Lucas or even Tyler Smith, but we'll wait till after the draft to get deeper into that. I do think it would be perfectly viable to head into the season with Jenkins, Borum, and a vet tackle on a one-year deal. I also think it's possible that we draft a tackle with our first pick. We will find out a lot about what Poles thinks about this roster during the draft. Either way, I see three potential spots that we should definitely target on day two of the NFL draft. Wide receiver, interior offensive line, and offensive tackle in no particular order. So pretty much wide receiver and offensive line is what we should be looking to draft on the offensive side of the ball. The class is much deeper at wide receiver and interior linemen, so maybe grabbing a tackle with our first pick would work out. Either way, I'm excited about this offense, and I can't wait to see who we add in the draft. Now let's get to that defense. Overlooked in the loss of Khalil Mack and Akeem Hicks were the quality pieces brought in to complement Roquan Smith the new face of the defense. We have a legit three-man pass rush, four capable guys at defensive tackle, a speedy linebacker sidekick in Nicholas Morrow to work with Roquan and challenge offenses, and then a secondary that is slowly coming together, led by our cornerback number one, Jalen Johnson, and bounce-back candidate free safety Eddie Jackson. The secondary also has two guys capable of holding it down at strong safety and a nickel corner that if he can stay healthy should be one of the best signings of the offseason. Avon Young is a great nickel back and it's a role that is very important in Flus's defense. Meanwhile, Thomas Graham Jr. currently sets atop the cornerback two spot in my projected depth chart. I actually think TGJ fits the defense perfectly. He excels in zone coverage and keeping the plays in front of him and attacking the ball. I think it's also possible we could bring in a vet like Xavier Rhodes to solidify the secondary as well. To me, our biggest need on the defense is three technique. Don't worry, I'll get to cornerback and Sam linebacker in a minute. 
but the three tech is the most important position in this defense, and our defensive tackle group as a whole is a bit underwhelming. Loose likes to bring in guys, guys in waves on the defensive line, so even if it's a third or fifth round pick, I think we still need another body at defensive tackle. Cornerback is another need. I just don't think I rank it as high as some other people do because I am high on Thomas Graham Jr. And there are also a few vets available that could fill the role as well. Also, cornerback isn't as important in Fluce as D. He doesn't leave guys on islands that often. And Jalen is already a better cornerback than anybody he had in Indy. Sam linebacker is something I think we need to address. Even if they view Matthew Adams as a starter, we need to add another body at linebacker. And then the safety spot is the last spot. I think it could go either way at the safety spot. If a talented player falls to us in the draft, I could see us grabbing him. But I also think we can get by this year with Eddie Jackson, Dane Cruikshank, and DeAndre Houston Carson, who can play either safety spot. I do have to say, though, if my guy Smoke Monday is there late in the draft, we gotta grab him. That's my dude. The defense also features a couple of young blue chippers that hype me up in Jalen Johnson, Roquan Smith, and Travis Gibson. Slightly behind them, we got some other solid guys still in their prime, like Al Quadine Muhammad, Justin Jones, Nicholas Morrow, and Tavon Young, with the potential for an Eddie Jackson bounce back here. I think on defense, we need to add a defensive tackle and a linebacker. And then the spot that we could also end up drafting, even very high, is cornerback and then potentially a safety. So the four spots I think we definitely need to draft are guard, wide receiver, defensive tackle, and linebacker. And then I think it's also very possible we could go with a tackle or cornerback or even a safety depending on how the draft falls. Taking all of that into account, I'm really in favor of an offensive-focused NFL draft. We do have a couple of spots on defense that could be addressed, but I am hoping that Flus can get the most out of this defense and allow Poles to really focus on adding young talent around Justin Fields on the offensive side of the ball. We are just a week away from the NFL draft, and I'm going to be stepping up my coverage even more in the coming weeks. So if you haven't hit that sub button yet, it's not too late. I can't thank all of you enough for the early support. Anyone who is already a sub and watching my videos, you are a founder of this channel and the reason I will continue doing this video. If you listen this long, please hit that like button for me. And until next time, guys, bear down.